Hey now, it's Sharon and I'm back to share another uh, excerpt from my book. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'm a retired detective. I worked for 20 years for a South, a Southeastern city in the US and I was also in the military. I'm sharing my experiences along with my perspectives uh, while policing and some military experiences in hopes of helping to reform policing as we know it. And with that being said, last week I shared a uh, part of the introduction to my book. And this week I wanted to share another part of my book, if I can find it, um, because I think it's helpful in letting people know that when you're going through something such as like the ostracism and the retaliation, that you find a, a safe space where you can just relax and, and take deep breaths. And while working in the office, I couldn't do that. It was just a toxic environment. Uh, the stillness of the office when you walked in because now they're all quiet and you just walked in because you're the rat or the snitch. And so I had to find a place within the building to to get away because I couldn't leave. I had to work. And so uh, Investigator Johnson, he told me about the firefighters lunchroom. So I want to read this to you really quick. It says my hideaway, the firefighters lunchroom. Investigator Johnson told me about the firefighters lunchroom. He said that he would go down to their lunchroom because it was quiet and you would only see a few firefighters. Most times it was empty and he would go there to escape the chaos in his office. I went down to the firefighters lunchroom to get out of the toxic environment of my office. Being in the firefighters lunchroom saved others from being seen with me. Now, that last sentence, saved others from being seen with me. Now, mind you, I'm getting, I'm trying to get out of the toxic office and just get somewhere where I could just breathe. And I remember each floor had a break room, but mostly police officers used it. So I would go down to the first floor to the firefighters lunchroom and you wouldn't even know it was there unless you walked through a couple of doors. And so I went to the firefighters lunchroom because I used to break or have a break in the regular break rooms but then people would come up to me some of them or they'd see me and not sit there but some people would come up to me you know in secret I, I I admire what you're doing you know keep your head up and whisper now if somebody else saw that person talking to me you could see the fear on their face like uh oh and so I didn't even want to deal with that I'm just like let me go downstairs let me find this firefighter's lunchroom and I found it and most times I would sit downstairs in the firefighter's lunchroom and that's where I started to really dive into my faith, read the Bible, take notes, um, and just clear my mind and breathe deep, you know? And, oh, Investigator Johnson wasn't there. He had, I think he was working out of another building. But I would sit in the firefighter's lunchroom. I would invite uh, one of my friends. She works there. And uh, she would come from her office and sit with me. And... Uh, a lot of times we did that. A lot of times we just meet and eat. And I don't want to say her name, but uh, Miss P, they know, she knows who's it. She, know, she knows who she is. But yeah, she would come and sit with me sometimes. But a lot of times I was down there by myself. Um, instead of walking around the building, trying to just clear my mind, I just go straight to the firefighter's lunchroom. Because like I said, people didn't want to be seen with me because I was the snitch or the rat. So I just go there and chill out there. So this is my advice for folks that are going through similar situations where um, they might be ostracized against with their coworkers, people are not talking to them and things like that. Find a space where you can just breathe. Um, it may even be the bathroom in the stall where you could just have a couple of minutes just to, I don't know about the bathroom, but <laughs> you can just let that guard down for a second, you know? And the firefighters, lunchroom was that for me. Uh, it helped. It helped so much that I could be in the building and have a safe space because I didn't feel safe. I'll just be honest. I didn't feel safe. I'll talk about that next week. But it was a safe space amongst the firefighters. <laughs> yeah, but that's all I want to share. Take a look at our online store. The link is in the description. And always remember, you don't necessarily have to go through a thing to learn from it. And the book, I'm not sure if it'll be out at the end of this week for the link because I'm sending it to one publisher. 
I just had to do it just to see. But yeah, I'll let you know more information on that. Talk to you guys later. Bye.